Women Readiness Challenge. Woo! I hear the black team. All right, can I get everybody to come right here in front of the stage? You don't have to be formed up, but let's everyone move right here. My distinct honor to introduce Colonel Stanford, who is going to give opening remarks. All right, before we get started, we, we got to do a little test run here. If Chief here, who's got better lungs than I do, shouts out the word engineers, there's only one proper response. What is it? In the way. All right, you guys think you can do that? All right, let's do a little practice round. Chief. Engineers! Lead the way! All right, awesome. Hey, guys, uh, Scott Stanford, director of readiness here at uh, Air Force Civil Engineer Center. Uh, we have got a absolutely tremendous week lined up for you here so this is readiness challenge eight some of you flew from halfway around the world or halfway around the country or wherever you came from we're excited to have you here excited to host you if you don't know what it looks like don't worry there's almost nobody in uniform that has actually seen this thing go down before because it's been over 20 years since we did readiness challenge okay so what's it all about well it's about building a war fighting culture among uh, engineers among civil engineers it's about assessing readiness and it's about giving you a chance to come out here and show us what you got so I hope you brought your A game and you're ready to show us what you got this week it's going to be a tremendous competition and uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys can do okay so I'm gonna ask four things of you this week try to remember four things I know it seems like a lot but let me run through them real quick. attitude okay attitude is gonna be essential for you to one, have fun, two, learn, and three, compete this week. Something's probably gonna go wrong, right? We hadn't done this in a long time. The weather, maybe we got the weather out of the way, but the weather won't cooperate. Piece of equipment might not work one day. Uh, there'll be a miscommunication or something. Having that positive can-do engineer attitude is gonna get us through it. Okay, so I ask you to bring your positive attitude. All right, let's test that out again, Chief. Engineers! Lead the way! All right, that's a good start. All right, so if attitude is essential, then safety is my next point. Safety is paramount. Okay, you guys knew I was going to get up here and say this, right? We want you to bring your A game. We want you to compete hard. But at the end of the day, there's one thing that we would have a hard time recovering from. We can recover from the weather. We can recover from bad equipment. But we certainly don't want to have to recover from sending somebody home, you know, <clears throat> uh, with a with a serious injury or worse okay so let's take care of each other your red hats back there your cadre are going to be watching out for safety points but I need each of you guys to do the same look out for your own look out for your neighbors take care of each other if you're getting asked to do something and you don't remember how to do it you hadn't done it in a while or maybe you've never done it before take a break it's all right ask for help from your team from your cadre we'll figure it out and move forward it's not worth getting anybody hurt over. All right, so that's two points. One was, anybody remember? Attitude. attitude, all right, so bring the right attitude. Okay, number two, safety is paramount. Number three, I had to make my own notes here, all right. We need your feedback, okay? We hadn't done this in a long time. If any of you get to come back here in four or five years, I can almost guarantee it's gonna look different. We already know that our training for engineers, our contingency training is going to evolve as we get ready for this high-end fight. So along with that, readiness challenge is going to evolve. And so to order to make it better, to take it to the next level, it's going to be awesome this week, but to take it to the next level, we need your feedback as the first participants in 22 years to help us make it better. Okay, so when you see things go down this week, make a mental note like, ah, well, maybe we could do it a little bit differently next time. And then give us your written feedback at the end of the week. It's going to be absolutely essential and vital to the future of this program. Okay. And then the fourth thing, so mentioned three so far. One's attitude, two's safety. <clears throat> three is give us your feedback. It's going to be vital to the future of the program. And fourth and finally is you guys get to make history this week. I'm not being overly dramatic. This is the kind of stuff we put in our Air Force history books in our Air Force Civil Engineer history. This is the eighth time we've done it, right in this challenge eight. Let me give you a few numbers to set the stage here, okay? So 51,000, all right, 51,000. That's how many engineers we have total force, active, guard, 
reserve and civilian. Next number, 312. That's how many of you there are. So out of 51,000, we picked 312 to come here and compete, and that's you guys. I hope that gives you a sense of how special it is to be here for the first time in over two decades helping put this event. Next number is 100 plus, okay? So when you turn around and look at the cadre behind you, you look at the members of my team and a whole bunch of others that helped put this on for the 312 of you, it took dozens, over 100 people to pull this thing off. It's a huge lift. So as you go about this week, please thank the folks that have helped put this on and do so much work to bring this event back. 22, that's the number of years since we've done this, 22 years. Eight, that's the number of teams we have here, each one representing a different match com. Okay. So eight teams, final number for you is one. Eight teams, there can only be one winner. I hope you're envisioning getting up here and taking that trophy home. Trophy, I understand, is pretty big. It's a Meredith trophy. It's like 40, 50 pounds or something. So I hope each one of you comes out ready to compete and envisions taking this thing home. It's exciting to have you guys out here. First events start in just about 30 minutes at 7.30. You guys know where to be, know where to go. We're looking forward to seeing you do things safely with a great attitude, giving us feedback and making history. Ladies and gentlemen, engineers, right in this challenge, eight is back. Chief, take us away. Engineers, lead This. How do I start this? I got you. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Metallic, go grab, grab the other sticks on and everybody. Closer. Yeah, you're right. Like, try to lay them out. Yeah, I've got it in. Don't. You have any handy? We've got one of them in the station, but then there's still four. Okay. So one snake is going to go through two.
This one's tough. Yeah, yeah, like the 
real one of the real guys coming out. Crawling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry to make it scary. <laughs> Body parts everywhere. I saw it was there too, and it looked like it was dragging. Body parts everywhere. I know that one very gentleman little eye. It's funny you put it on like you want to spin too. Breathing all this. It's hard to get one door. Yeah, I know what. Yeah, you do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 